approve. 37% approve. On the economy, a whopping 65% disapprove. 31% approve. And on immigration policy, 60% disapprove of the president's take, just 32% approve. So you can see the president's standing among Americans is at its lowest point ever. The question now becomes, can the Republican Party capitalize? The grand old party still divided between so-called moderate Republicans and committed conservatives. The brawl has been going on for years, and right now the Tea Party is right in the middle of it. According to Real Clear Politics Average, a possible Republican presidential candidates in 2016, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie, a moderate, is ahead at about 19 percent. Conservative Rand Paul stands at 17 percent. Conservative Ted Cruz, 12 percent. Florida Senator Marco Rubio, 12 percent. Congressman Paul Ryan, 11 percent. And Jeb Bush, 10 and a half percent. All these men have a chance to run against Hillary Clinton in 2016. Mrs. Clinton is far ahead of any Democratic challenger and will remain so. With Americans disenchanted by Obamacare and a bad economy, it would seem the Republicans would have some momentum, but they don't because there is not one clear message. And even on philosophy, political philosophy, parties deeply divided. It will take a leader like Ronald Reagan to help heal that breach. Now, if you look at the situation nationwide, it's clear the Democrats are going to campaign largely in poor and working class precincts. Today, fast food workers across the country demonstrated for a $15 an hour wage. That has been endorsed by President Obama and most every other Democrat. The so-called living wage issue will be a Democratic hallmark next year. Of course, if you give fast food workers a minimum of 15 bucks an hour, fast food prices go up for everybody. So Americans will pay more. That is a primary consideration in the debate. Talking Boys believes the Republican Party must drop ideology almost entirely and concentrate on the economy and putting forth a health care plan that makes sense. Everything else really doesn't matter. It's all about wages, jobs, and health. That's it. If the GOP does not consolidate its message, it will not capitalize on Mr. Obama's troubles. As simple as that. And that's a memo. Now, the job story tonight, reaction. With us, the former governor of Alaska and vice